stepping into your own thing like this exposes all of your insecurities and vulnerabilities. There's just no way around it because you have to deal with things like rejection, failure, (laughs) knowing that you're probably going to get it wrong and the fear that somebody might get mad at you for getting it wrong, among many, many other things. (laughs) Anything that you thought you might have figured out or worked through or moved past or things you maybe even suppressed because you didn't want to deal with it and you've been doing just fine not dealing with it. (laughs) All of a sudden when you take all of this on, people don't really realize this until they start to do it, that it's going to bring all of that up. This is the Energy Within Podcast, helping you to embrace your weirdness, find the confidence to be your true self, and fully step into your soul's purpose. My name is Carrie Jokala. I am your host. I am a Reiki master teacher, a fitness instructor, a wife, a mom to two little boys, and this is episode 162, and I'm sure you can hear, you probably heard my blinker, I'm driving again, I'm still on the iPhone, it's going to be a few more weeks, so hi, how you doing? Thanks for being here. (laughs) So in today's episode, I really wanted to dive a little bit more into this idea of... (laughs) Okay, hang on. Can we talk about that ding really quick? So my car alerts me when the outside temperature hits 39 degrees. And I'm really, to this day, not sure why I'm supposed to care. (laughs) And I read a long time ago that it's a feature that, like, you can't really turn off. Like, unless you take it to somebody who knows how to, like, hack it. (laughs) So anyway, (laughs) I wanted to talk more about this idea of working with female entrepreneurs or women who want to be or somehow at least have some type of a side hustle where you're really admittedly in real world, in real time, trying to figure out your thing, your purpose, and what that looks like here. I really don't think it looks too much different than what I've already always been talking about, but it's really just being more direct about it because I've always been talking about how to find your purpose, embracing who you really are. The thing is that I think for so long I was afraid that I might mislead people because I don't want anyone to think that I am trying to be a business coach because I'm not. I am not the person to help you with strategy or ad campaigns or content or anything like that. It's more your personal growth journey, the mindset, the energy part of it, obviously, because we're using things like Reiki to help you shift the energy and ignite your confidence, really figure out who you are, what you're meant to do through that process. And the embracing your weirdness, finding the confidence to be your true self, that's in a way working to beat imposter syndrome, which is a big struggle for a lot of us. The thing about either starting your own business or even starting a side hustle is really no matter what it is you want to do, maybe A tiny bit more so if you're trying to coach people in some way, but really it it doesn't matter what. (laughs) Stepping into your own thing like this exposes all of your insecurities and vulnerabilities. There's just no way around it because you have to deal with things like rejection, failure, (laughs) knowing that you're probably going to get it wrong and the fear that somebody might get mad at you for getting it wrong, among many, many other things. (laughs) Anything that you thought you might have 
figured out or worked through or moved past or things you maybe even suppressed because you didn't want to deal with it and you've been doing just fine not dealing with it. (laughs) All of a sudden when you take all of this on, people don't really realize this until they start to do it, that it's going to bring all of that up and it's unavoidable. That's why there's so many mindset coaches and confidence coaches and why entrepreneurs need not just business coaches, but life coaches and all these sorts of things to help on the personal growth, the spiritual evolution, the confidence. It's all so necessary. And I would argue just as important, if not more important, than the business strategy side of it. Now granted, I speak that from a point of not being a millionaire yet, so let's we'll find out as my journey goes on. <laughs> but I do know it's gonna bring all your insecurities to light. So that's where the embrace your weirdness, step into your confidence, find the confidence to be your true self, Doing those things help you on your path to finding and living out your purpose. What was interesting for me is that as I got back from Marketing Impact Academy Live and I've taken a little more time than I intended to to decompress and try to get situated again and kind of get my physical energy back to a more normal level, Just the other day, I started to kind of clean things up. I've got a couple planners that I had started and not really done anything with. One of them was actually, I technically used the entire thing, but I still had ideas inside of it that I wanted to reference. So I was trying to organize all of that, clean up loose sheets of paper that I had. And the planner that had been finished was open to the page where I had kind of reviewed everything for myself from last year and then set some New Year's intentions. And it's November now. (laughs) And I think I've done an okay job towards the things that I wrote down, but that word bold keeps coming up and I know that I haven't been nearly as bold as I maybe was meant to. (laughs) And the fact that the word keeps coming up again on its own for me is, I think, a nudge for me to do that. But part of that being bold started with me being pushed to be bold and acknowledging who it is that I'm really trying to target, for lack of a better word. And what's really interesting is in those same notes from earlier this year, I had written down who I wanted to work with and what I wanted to do. And lo and behold, it's everything that I was pushed to say when people were talking to me and asking me questions at Marketing Impact. And here I am thinking like, oh, it's this new revelation. Well, actually, I had already figured that out. I just put it away (laughs) out of sight, out of mind and forgot about it and didn't really go after it like I, I put it in vague terms embrace your weirdness find the confidence to be your true self and while some of what I might have written down is still kind of vague ish I do feel like it's slightly more specific and I do still want to keep the embrace your weirdness part in some way shape or form so we'll figure that out but basically I had written down that I'm going to kind of summarize the first part but basically I want to help women beat imposter syndrome and word for word here I wrote I help women own their power balance energy and action and reject the notion that they can't do whatever they want to do I want to help women take the first step or the next big scary step to designing the life they want I want to help her reject the idea that she is at a disadvantage for any reason I want to help her own her power. And then in parentheses, so I have to own mine. So there's the push again for me to be bold. And I also want to talk here about the line I wrote about saying that there's no disadvantages because I don't know that anyone is going to come for me for that, but I just also want to make it clear this is is the way I feel about it. I would never deny 
that we could all have issues that we're dealing with, obstacles that we're dealing with, that make it difficult, extremely challenging, frustrating in our efforts to move forward. Things that hold us up for longer than they should, things that make us think maybe we're not good at this or that we should quit, or we look around and see others who aren't dealing with the same thing or don't seem to be dealing with the same thing, and we think that they must have it so much easier than we do. And my point here is not to deny the existence of obstacles because they're always going to be there, but really to focus more on the mindsets of pushing through those obstacles because I don't care how cheesy or rosy, rose-colored glasses this might sound. I really do truly believe 100% that there's always a way through. Notice I didn't label any of it easy, (laughs) but if there's something on your heart that you're being drawn to do, you know you have a bigger purpose, there's a way. And maybe what you're going through is part of your purpose. It's part of figuring out the rest of your path. You have to go through this trial to get to the next step. And maybe it's lasting longer than you wanted it to or think that it should be lasting. But you shouldn't and you don't have to and you better not give up. (laughs) Because you can figure it out. There's always a way. Here's one thing I noticed about myself is that whenever there's an opportunity for a QA, and a for example, at Marketing Impact... So many people have so many questions that they want to stand up and ask. And then here I am. I have this opportunity right in front of me to ask someone like Shalene Johnson a question about business. And I can't think of anything. Because the thing for me is not to sit here and be like, oh, I have all the answers. But it's more like I think of the question and then I realize, well, actually, I already can expect what the answer is going to (laughs) be. And in most cases, and as I find as I listen to the questions that other people ask and the answers that they get, it's like, yeah, this is stuff I've already heard. I already understand the basic principle. It's a matter of implementation. And I think that's where a lot of us end up falling off because we want to pretend we don't know the answer. We want to pretend we don't know what the next step is because we think it needs to be more complicated than it is. The next step is Google it or just start creating it or ask a few people some questions, do some market research. You know, it's always a simple answer. It doesn't mean it's an easy thing to do, but if we're honest with ourselves, we know the next answer. We know what we're supposed to do. The problem is implementation. The problem is the confidence to implement everything. The problem is belief in ourselves It's imposter syndrome. But the point is, it's all things that can be figured out. So no matter what we personally have going on, there's always some way to figure it out. You can probably think of examples of people who have huge disadvantages that figured out how to do something that someone in their position wouldn't have been expected to figure out, but they did. So use that as evidence that whatever obstacle you think you're up against, whatever disadvantage you think you might have, change your perception around it and instead start asking questions of yourself of what you can do to move through it. Don't worry about what anybody else's journey looks like. Don't worry that your journey doesn't look like theirs because it's not going to. They are who they are and you are who you are. They don't have your experience, your beliefs, your mindsets, the unique combination of skills that you have. You might share some common skills, some common abilities, but the entirety of what makes them them and what makes you you is not ever going to be the same. So just focus on you and know that you can do whatever it is that's on your heart to do. Don't expect it to be easy. 
but don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. So I don't know if I've made it any clearer <laughs> where my direction is headed. And I hope you can see that in many ways it's not really any different than what I've already been doing, the way I've already been talking. I'm just going to be more bold and more direct with it. So if you have questions, reach out and let me know. Or if you are ready to see how something like a Reiki session can help you to clear out your energy, get rid of this imposter syndrome, boost your confidence, help you figure out who you really are and what you're really here to do and give you the confidence to go do it, head on over to my website and book yourself a session. Make sure you jump on into the Energy Within Facebook group. The link is in the show notes. Follow me on the new Instagram because I know I say this all the time, but I really am going to try to be more consistent. <laughs> You'll have to give me a little bit of grace in this last month or so or however long it's been since I've posted because everything going on with the move and my trip and things being in disarray. <laughs> but... I'm doing my best to get back on track, and I would love to bring you with me. So come follow me on Instagram. I am Carrie Jokala, and I hope to see you soon for a Reiki session. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time.